Whether your poster is about classwork you've done or it's for a research fair, this video is intended to give you some tips about what to expect, how to prepare, how to present your poster, and working a crowd in a research poster setting. Posters are used in a number of settings. In academia, we use them to show class work or to present early research. We do this to get feedback and also to allow students an opportunity to practice presenting. In industry, posters are used to pitch ideas to executive staffs or to funders. But also, companies can use posters to show how their work is helping communities. Posters are a unique opportunity for you, not just for getting feedback, but for meeting people. Anybody you meet could be a future employer or somebody that you might want to collaborate with in the future. Poster sessions aren't really about the poster, and they're not even really about the work. A poster session's about you. It's an opportunity for you to pitch yourself and promote yourself. Often a research or a class poster session is in a very large open space, or maybe it's in a classroom, or possibly the posters are set up in a corridor where posters are on opposite sides of a hallway. In any of those cases, poster sessions are often crowded and noisy. Often you have to speak loudly, so the first tip is bring water, because if you stay hydrated, you won't have problems with losing your voice. Plan to get there early. This is good for a number of reasons. First off, if the poster placement isn't pre-assigned, it gives you an opportunity to scout out the space and figure out where you might get good traffic. It also allows you to make sure that you have room around your poster. Ideally, you want to stand to the left or the right of your poster. If you're in a group, you want to make sure there's enough space for your group to stand around your poster without blocking it. Think of your poster the same way you think of a slide deck. It's a tool for presenting. So you want to be professional, and all the same things that you think about when you think about presenting slides are similar things that you want to think about when presenting a poster. The differences are the information on a poster is all on one big slide. Also, there's no space between you and the audience, so the conversation can be much more personal. In fact, a key to presenting posters well is that they're interactive. A poster should give you the opportunity to have a conversation with the people in the audience. A visitor might come up to you and ask, hey, what's your poster about? An ideal answer is one that invites a question. So think of a short little phrase like, my poster is about global warming, and the data suggests that glaciers are retreating, which can cause serious problems around the world. Notice how that invites a question about what kinds of problems, or someone might be interested in how you reach those findings. Also, point to the visuals to help tell the story. That way you're being active and you're not just standing still reciting a story. Consider bringing business cards and note paper. That way you have contact information to hand out easily and you can write down feedback. And dress well. Remember, this is a professional event and you could end up meeting a future employer or someone you want to collaborate with. Finally, if you're presenting a poster with a group, figure out in advance who's going to be speaking on which parts. That way you don't seem clumsy during the presentation. So now we want to talk just a little bit about how to work the crowd. Remember, poster sessions are often in a very crowded space. You don't want to block your poster. You want to have an open space in front of it as best you can so that people feel invited in. For groups, try to stand on both sides of the poster, but remember to keep the front clear. When you want to reel someone in, all you have to do generally is make eye contact and say hello, and they'll often naturally come up and start talking to you. Remember, a poster session is really about you. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to practice telling your story and what you're good at. It's an opportunity for you to pitch yourself and your work to people that you might work for or with in the future. Good luck.